a lot to do with the SNB, uh, the Fed, the BOJ. But let's just isolate Brexit, if we can, for a moment. The Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, we understand, is about to defy a parliament. What kind of a pivotal moment is this in the investability of the UK if the British Prime Minister defies or decries the very essence of governance in the United Kingdom? Uh, yeah, look, I, I think um, overturning parliamentary democracy in this country would, would, would be you know, an extreme event for, for, for guilts and, and, and equities. The question is, can that realistically be done. I think the market is currently, if you look at where cable is, if you look at uh, the relatively sanguine reaction in equities, it's pricing that there is still this uh, safety valve in the, in the form of either a vote of no confidence or various other ways um, to stop that happening. So th at the moment the market is a little bit unclear as to what the mechanism would be to get round the concept of parliamentary democracy um, and as such I think they're, they're, they're quite confident that um, that level of defiance is unachievable. Whether or not it is, um, you know, for us it's a question of we would rather wait and see. We think that people are going to trade, you know, UK domestic equities either down 10% post-event or up 10% post-event, depending on whether they get clarity, but pre-positioning is light at the moment. Okay, so pre-positioning is light because people, I guess, are trying to guess what, what happens next almost. So how would you advise to trade from here? Do you just wait on the sidelines um, or do you actually take one of those positions with more conviction in domestic stocks and perhaps have a different approach to the global stocks, the FTSE 100? It, I mean, it's very much on, on dependent on your timeline. You know, if mm. you can stomach the mark to market, there are certain sectors we put out a note this morning on some of the UK home builders that are actually yeah. looking very interesting from a... Um, you know, a free cash flow perspective, even in the worst case, if they sort of down tools and just, you know, sort of bunker down, some of them have the kind of balance sheets that are resilient enough to get through uh, even the most extreme scenarios. So, so there is some, some, some appearing value there. But, you know, f from our perspective, we think that, you know, you, it's very, very difficult to pre-position tactically. There are some good risk reward type trades in the more exotic parts of the market, mm -hmm. um, which aren't for everybody. But, um, you know, again, like what do you do with the FTSE, you know, because of the, the, the interference that comes from the translation effect of, you know, uh, of, of cable earnings. Um, I think one of the interesting things is to make sure that you don't accidentally sleepwalk into owning too much European risk if you believe that Brexit will happen. It's not like the Euro stocks is going to emerge unscathed yeah. from hard Brexit. So again, making sure that you're hedging around that. But the hardest thing we found is nobody really knows when that date should be. What, what maturity of option do you buy?